Hi, hier ist Eric von Laser Scanning TV und das ist besonders interessant für Faro uh, Scanner Users und uh, mit dem neuen Scanner, mit dem Premium und maybe dem Core Scanner auch. Es gab Probleme, die du nicht lesen kannst in der früheren Version von uh, Autodesk Recap, der bekanntesten Version von Autodesk. Uh, direkt die Daten von dem neuen Faro Scanner. Ich denke, es gab ein Problem mit der Interface. Uh, you can export from scene some recap uh, projects, but you not can import it recap uh, faro scans in recap and make a registration. But now with the new version, this is possible, and we check this out and give you all information. Stay tuned if you are interested. Hey, gentlemen, I starting right now in this uh, uh, program here. Uh, unfortunately, we are a German company. You see everything in German here. We you need definitely recap pro version 24. Uh, you create a new project, you say you want imported a point cloud and uh, give a name for your project, we call him Faro Import, and then you have to tell him um, a name uh, where you like to store it. And the next step, you go to your um, uh, page where um, where you have your, already your Faro Scanner, your uh, Faro Scan data you see here um, in Scans. And then you choose here the folder and you import it now 18 Faro Scans. Unreg unregistered Faro scans, you have it here in, inside now. And then you can go to Avaitat and I think you take a, a decimation out and now the system starts automatic uh, to import your data. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, you can have a coffee like I have and now the system is starting. But I think I have a couple of coffees. You see eight minutes, nine, ten. Mm. I have to drink faster. Now we are 16, 17, 18 minutes and I think already finished it. I will go with you forward uh, at 30 minutes for these 18 scans, depending. It's up from your, also from your laptop. And now this was a very important step, but this goes a little bit too far. I have to go back for you. Look here, it's uh, now it's already imported and now it's starting here in this um, this um, automatic registration. We registered 15 scans and three scans are not registered because uh, the automatic overlay it was not working. And what you have to do in this case, it's uh, you can use it by manual registration. And for this one, you have two windows and you have to choose the scans. They are not registered in the single views. And now we see when we have to write as the one scan. On left side, my colleague is looking, but he's complete wrong. He's on another place. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe it was too early for him in the morning. Now he have to look on, on the other position. And now you see it. These are similar scans. And what you have to do then, you have to click some uh, roughly identified identified points on uh, both scan scenes. Like and with this um, uh, points, what you choose, uh, the software try to make a pre-registration. And afterwards, he let one in, um, uh, like a cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration. You see, now he choose the last point here. And now the software say here, ah, we have enough items and we can overlay this. And he say, yeah, that's okay. And then now it's already this scan uh, registers to the other one. And I think in the next step, the software is now calculating and then he stepped to the next scan. And then you also take the next scan. I think it's a rough registration, it's not good, and now you choose the next uh, three identified points. And this you have to do now for all these uh, missing scans here. Um, yeah, it took a little bit of time. As a better has having better overlap. But um, uh, it's very funny. Uh, we let this, uh, was a, a guy uh, who do his practical internship, like a guy who was uh, ninth class in a school, and he was scanning the scan scene and having like um, 15 scans ready from 18. It's already good, I think. Yeah, we can, we can live with that. Yeah, and then we have, uh, because we've been lazy, we sent out the school boy. <laughs> now we have to do the registration by our own. And uh, yeah, let us see. Now we uh, think now finally the last scans are inside. And this one, now he created, in, uh, indexed the scan data as he produced now the recap database, the RCP files. This is the next step, what's one here, and I can have another coffee. And um, yeah, then we are almost finished. You see here, this is the status, um, uh, status so it is already finished. And now it's already generated the uh, uh, 3D point cloud, the recap point cloud, and we see it next step, we can see it here start project we see it now in the 3d viewer now our complete project is with jitters together to one big scene and one big point cloud it looks a little bit data quality i don't know it's i think it's more from our graphic card and screen video what we see i think usually this looks better in autodesk 
we see also if you click here inside, we get much better data. As it's not like the quality of the engine, I think it's more screen displaying here on our uh, screen recording. You see now, here we are laser scanning Europe and uh, yeah, now we have the single positions, single scans, rigid together in one big point cloud and you can export this data now for your normal AutoCAD, uh, Plant, Revit, or uh, all the application that can use the RCP files like Civil and you can use it now with your new premium scanner as this is now uh, already possible to have it. It's having laser scanning Europe here in the end uh, I will uh, stop the video because we are already finished. With this laser scanning Europe uh, logo I will finish this uh, I think uh, I give you the most important stuff here. I hope to learn something uh, how you can work with your ferro scanner now again in recap. Uh, and if you like what I present, give me a thumb up, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and maybe share to a colleague who already fighting with his premium scanner in the Autodesk world. Uh, maybe it helps them. Uh, I say bye bye, Eric, uh, until next episode with some tricks from the scanner dark factory. Yeah.